Good morning, guys and gals. Thank you for wandering by life with Yosef. This is, as always, your host, Joe. It is the 19th of November of 2023, and I find myself at the Fairfield Inn in Bakersfield, California. And you're probably wondering, oh, okay, dude, and here's the locomotive. You're probably wondering, okay, dude, why are you here? Well, the battery's almost out on the on the handheld, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the truck and I'm gonna tell you. Thanksgiving is on Thursday, and my brother Charlie is going to San Diego for the week, remembering that my goddaughter is stationed at Oceanside, and Charlie has family in San Diego. His mom and his sister and brother-in-law live in San Diego, in San Diego County. Excuse me. So, he's, he's driving there. And he, he emailed me and said, hey, hold on here. I had to plug in the camera. Uh, he said, why don't we meet in Bakersfield? So we met yesterday. Uh, I had a rough time. Uh, I, uh, it didn't go as well physically for me as it should have. I got my uh, flu and my COVID shot Thursday when I went to the doctor in, in person. And Friday, I didn't feel all that swift. And I figured, okay, it's a shot. I woke up yesterday and I felt okay, but I run out of steam early in the day. And well, let's just say that Imodium and I have been fast friends. So I think I got the spigot turned off. It's Sunday morning. I ate just a touch of breakfast. I took my nausea meds. Uh, Charlie's gonna drive today. He's upstairs uh, finishing what he needs. And we're going to go for a little drive, uh, probably up the Lake Isabella, and then back, and we'll see how the rest of our day goes. Um, tomorrow, Charlie is going to drive to the Central Coast around San Luis Obispo, and then he's going to wander to Los Angeles County, Bakersfield, I mean, uh, uh, Burbank, and uh, down that way. He's going to meet his daughter, my goddaughter, for lunch one of the days, I think Tuesday or Wednesday, probably Wednesday. And then um, my godson is flying out of Phoenix on Thanksgiving morning. He's going to U of A in Tucson and he's flying to San Diego to meet up. And then Charlie and CJ are driving home Saturday. I thought he was driving home Sunday and he'd be an idiot, but He's on top of things, and he's driving home Saturday, and they're going to go dirt bike riding Sunday. So, in this two or three minutes opening here, that's why I'm in Bakersfield, California. I'm charging the handheld. I got the cameras up and running. We do need to get gas. We're going to have a good day. I'm glad to see my brother. He's good people. So, we'll see what's next. Maybe some road footage. God, God only knows. Off the curve. Got it on dash cam. I want to point out right here, look at this guy go right over the curb. Did you not see the parking stalls knowing that that's people? Way to go, dude. <laughs> You're the hero.
Well, our first stop of the day, and as you saw the guy at the gas station drive over the curb, we're at the Posey station of the Butterfield Overland Mail Line. And two and a half miles east here, on a small flat south of Pozo Creek, and that's that way where the road goes somewhere, um, is one of six stagecoach stations in Kern County, uh, belonging to the Butterfield Overland Mail Company. They operated 2,795 miles of, um, not road, but you know, they, of uh, a trail or path or whatever, uh, between St. Louis and San Francisco. The stage operated from 1858 till the Civil War started in 1861. This is a marker. There's my brother. Say hi to my people. Hello, how are you? There's my brother, Charlie. This was uh, dedicated in 1952, and the new marker put here in 2021. I've never been out here, and you know, when you look at Google Maps and you kind of zoom in a touch, stuff like this pops up. It's real interesting. So we're out here. I've never been on this road. We're eventually going to stop in um, Glenville, and I have been before uh, the first year that my wife and I were full-time in 2014, and the boy uh we we did a little drive out, out to glenville and such and we're gonna head back out there today so you're gonna see some road footage and we'll see what's next Note right here on the right, right now, you see a Mustang kind of parked, uh, well, definitely curious, so we're pressing on to our next stop. Our next stop of the day finds us at Granite Station, which was built in 1873 by John Eldon. There was a store, restaurant, and hotel on the stage route between Bakers oh shit, Bakersfield. This offense is high, so Bakersfield and Glenville, where we're going to Glenville later on this ride. In later years, it was a stopping place for freight freighters, freight. Freight wagons and sheepmen who were on their way to the Mojave, though I'm really not sure why, because, uh, but unless it's mining or something. So here's our 360 of Granite Station. And this is another stop that I think I found when I zoomed in on Google and magically things pop up. And you know how interested I am in stuff like this. So we're pressing on to Glenville and we'll see what's next. Now, right here, you're going to see a couple of deer dart across as the front. Charlie saw them, and, and they went ahead and went on by. Now, the running joke uh, between Charlie and I is, one, back in the times of trouble when we were uh, I was out in Kansas and we were on patrol, we were taking a gal to jail in Greensburg, and a deer ran out in front of us, and we pasted him. Now, my brother made sure to ride my ass. I had put my hand up. You know, your dominant hand, uh, the plaintiff taught me this, you know, the dominant hand you put up to protect yourself, and, and the airbag went off and broke my hand, and he endlessly makes little girl noises like Mike Tyson on In Living Color, um, you know, oh, oh my god, I'm going to get hurt. <laughs> so he's already tried to kill me once, and then secondly, secondly, he was riding my saber into work, out by Ardenwood to Fremont and the deer darted in front of him and and he he took a pretty serious tumble and so he's uh him and deer and him and deer and I have a uh, 
a love-hate relationship. So we're at the store, I ran some film, and we'll see what's next. Our next stop of the day finds us in Glenville, California, which was established in 1872. It's in Kern County, which, the, uh, which all the ride is uh, today. Um, this is on California 155. And we're on our way to Lake Isabella. You see the little saloon and such here. I uh, not I don't have enough of the uh, the history. We're gonna walk in the market here. I don't have all the history right in front of me, but I'll probably overdub it over some road footage. You know, Wikipedia is your friend. So we'll uh, we'll press on. We'll see what's next. You know, inside the market here is way cool. It's the Glenville Business Center also. You see they sell shirts and stuff. Uh, this caught my eye. This uh, old school BSA. Um, it means uh, Birmingham Small Arms. They're uh, a British manufacturer that Honda basically decimated. And we'll see what else is in the store. The Linz, L-I-N-N apostrophe S, Valley Post Office opened up in 1860. It was changed to Glenville in 1872. It was named after James Madison Glen, who was a blacksmith and opened up the first hotel. The road, uh, which is now California 155, um, was uh, built by Thomas Baker, who... <laughs> Founded Bakersfield, which is now the county seat of Kern County. Now, this building right here on the right is the oldest structure in Kern County. It's the Glenville Adobe, but it was uh, built before the Civil War, but I don't have a date for it. And there's another old church around there from the 1860s. I probably should have gotten out and filmed and done a little bit more research. But here you go. It'll just give me another excuse to ride up back this way sometime in the future. So we're going to press on to Isabella and we'll see what's next. Our next stop just after noon is in Kernville, in Kern County on the Kern River. Uh, this is, uh, this goes into uh, uh, Lake Isabella, which we'll go up and take a picture of the dam here in a little bit. Then we're going to go down California 178. Uh, through the Kern R uh, River Canyon and then we'll make some decisions about if we're just going to go back into the hotel. I mentioned we may go down to Fort Tejon but I'm already starting to run out of steam and yesterday was extremely exhausting. I am going to say about the park here I've seen it where there's hardly any water in the river and I've seen it where this entire park is flooded so Definitely water in California is a feast or famine situation. It was feast this last year, but we've, you know, drought. We've had, there's been years of drought. And in 1862, 63, the state flooded so badly that 5% of the population died. So, oh, there's a pupper that my brother's playing with. Oh, I'm going to go pet the pup. 
This uh, is this is Brewer. Smile the camera. Smile and the I camera. got the pet <laughs> Brewer, but as you can see, Brewer has an incredible fetch drive. So he only tolerated, now he's going to go play. There you go. God love you, Brewer. You know how much I miss my boy. It's been a little bit over two years, and, you know, it was worth every second of having my sweet boy Chico. And Well, nevertheless, maybe Brewer will come back. And, oh, here he comes. Oh, God, oh, Brewer. Oh, what a pupper he is. So we'll see what's next. Here is an older Spider F3. You see it doesn't have nearly the Tupperware that mine does. And it's a little bit older because you could see, I may be wrong, it's got the newer headlights. It just hasn't got the Tupperware. And it has the older style uh, dash. So here you go, and we'll see what's next.